wrote a book about it called The Fall Spring. I forgot how to pitch. I, d I pulled a Rick Ankeel, a Steve Blass, uh, Max von McDaniel, uh, one of those guys who got so mentally confused that he could no longer throw the ball properly. It had nothing to do with an injury. So it, it basically was a mental breakdown in terms of pitching. I mean, yeah. the way I understood it from the book is like you forgot the mechanics. I forgot everything. My God. When I started out, I had a beautiful motion. The last year I played, people didn't even recognize me. It was a mess. And uh, I, I always say it's a fear of success. It's the kind of thing that happens to people who are successful very early and don't have any failures to judge your life by. And then when they come across the first roadblock, they fall apart. And I had been one of those guys that from eight years old was a protege. And then when I went away and all of a sudden I ran into a wall, I wasn't successful, I completely crumbled then. I didn't have, didn't have the character to over, overcome it, you know? You talk about, the, and I think this is quite true, the need to have faced failure and lack of success in order to learn how to cope. Yep. No, I'm a great, great believer in that. Yeah, true everywhere. True yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and that's why, uh, uh, <coughs> to me, the, 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 way, uh, the way it works is you have the natural ability, whatever it is, and that advances you up to a point. Then you have a setback, and then you think your way over that setback so that your natural ability, when you get that setback, now became, becomes a rational ability that you understand it. So no, you have some natural talent. And you get to a point and you run into a wall where your natural talent doesn't carry you any farther and you're crushed, or, you know. And then if you're really destined for greatness, you think your way beyond that so that when you come out the other side, you now have a rational understanding of your talent. And once you rationally understand it, nobody can take it away from you again. Now that raises all kinds of questions, which I'm gonna ask after I ask you about Herb Score, because Herb Score, uh, a, most people watching probably don't know who he is. Well, he, he's been an announcer for the Cleveland Indians, I guess, yeah. for about 30 years, yeah. But when Herb Score came up to the major leagues, he was like the second coming of Bob Feller. Uh, he threw the ball so fast, his curveball, as they say, fell off the table. And you say he forgot how to pitch, and I, I thought he got hit in the face by a line yeah, drive. Yeah, that was on his sideline. He got hit in the face, nothing happened to his arm. Uh, Gil McDougall hit a line drive off his eye, almost lost vision in his eye. And once he recuperated physically, he went back to the mound and he had forgotten how to pitch. Whether that getting hit in the eye had caused him to be fearful on the mound is no, doesn't matter because all those guys who forget how to pitch have a huge fear in their life. It might be different for each one of them. But the motivating thing is fear. So now Score might have had a fear of getting hit. But he still went out to the mound to pitch. But his motion, which was beautiful when he was 21, at 23 was a mess. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.